Now, talking about blue, there's something else blue in the studio this morning, <laughs> isn't there? The paint... <laughs> better. Better. It's not ideal, love. I was going to say, were you in the way or something? When Could they were you please at least wall? share the shot with me? Because if we're going to be on YouTube forever, at least I'll be in good company. Yes. Does anybody remember the Smurfs? Clearly yeah. on a budget, yes. this particular makeover. Is that a pair of knickers is this, on your head? It is. It's, 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 it's <laughs> <laughs> it's got Smur yeah. Smurfs meet Shrek. It's awful, is it? What a, what a frightening prospect on my, uh, my blue moon face. Actually, it's one of your slips, Emma. Ooh. Yes, indeed, with a pair of old I've tights. Got a big bottom. Thanks very much. <laughs> <Absolutely>. <laughs> Just about fitted my cranium. Um, anyway, the Smurfs, we do remember them fondly way back in the, <laughs> in the 1970s. Would you stop? Darl, this is my item. Stop pulling okay, focus. Sorry. All right? I know you're an icon in your own little hemisphere. <laughs> all right? But this is all about mine. Um, anyway, we're off, to, <laughs> we're off to the Smurfing village. Now, I didn't know this. Now, you, they call you the pint-sized princess of pop, but Smurfs apparently are only supposed to be three apples high. Now, I used to collect them when I was a nipper three at school. Apples, three yeah, three apples, apples high, which is so oh, cute, isn't it? So it, cute. it is cute. Uh, for those of you who don't remember the Smurfs, who <laughs> they didn't contribute much of a verse to your life in the 70s, and you're clearly not as old as my good self, or this one here, then take oh, a look at this. Oh, give a punch. Seriously. <laughs> Makes you want to go fetal, doesn't it? Because it's slightly hypnotic for those of us who do remember. But it is going through, though, uh, okay. as you may say. Uh, and we're looking for a movie, movie uh, theatre near you uh, next year with Katy Perry, none other than the Katie Smurfette Perry. herself. Yeah, superb stuff. So here's a taste of what you can expect when it comes out next year. There you go, throw it day. Um, um, before I give you a cheeky little makeover, dolls. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, because blue is back. In fact, it's the new black. Okay. We'll go with your eyes We're going to give you some smoky eyes. Okay, I don't want that, that shabby team you brought in with you today, love, but we need to work on this. Um, uh, a new movie for you. I teased it up earlier in the week, and we saw you covered in ink. And tattoos. Oh, I was inked, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was fully loaded with tats. Um, I did a mad dash to New York to do a cameo in this independent film, and... Uh, Looked really hard. I mean, I mean, not your usual glam like, self, are no, you? No, I was actually Biker frightening girl. people that I knew. <laughs> like, oh God, I can't look at it. It was, it was full on, but it was a good but experience. It was full of film because people wondered whether it was for real or just for a part. Oh, no, no, yeah. it was just, to, yeah. just for that day filming. So you, thought, maybe you've been caught on an off day. When can we expect to see it and what it's, what's it called? It's called Jack and Diane and uh, probably next year. Excellent. I mean, this, the, this director makes films that are more kind of... Uh, RT, RT doing the independent film circuit. So I don't know what's going to happen with it. But... Oh, Dolls, can oh, I be in it? Because I'm really straining for some credibility at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got idea. Particularly with that accent. Yeah. With, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And a dodgy The Australian face Smurf. Yeah. It's more oh, brave heart. Bless you. Okay. Plenty more from Kylie a little later on, also from Richard. As I'm sure you know by now, Kylie Minogue has been with us uh, all morning and all morning. We've been asking you to email and Twitter us your uh, questions for her. Now's time. Mm. Come has come for her to answer some of those. Thanks very much, Dee, for being with us. Thanks very much, Dee, for taking everything we've thrown at you this morning. Very I've good sport. I've been directing. I've yeah. done the weather. <laughs> uh, let's kick off let's with a birthday on, because we? before we get to the questions, mm. it's my husband Steve's uh, birthday today. He loves Kylie and is a huge fan. Says somebody. Unfortunately, I haven't got her name, but Steve, but you know Steve, who you are. Steve, anyway, maybe yeah, it's a happy you, birthday you know who to you him. Are. Oh, Steve, happy um, birthday. Paul. Maybe Paul says, um, Kylie, you always look absolutely terrific, and you make people feel that way. Two. Hope your song goes to number one. Others are asking, how do you maintain your looks? I know it's something we touched on, but we've got Smoke new viewers joining Smoke and mirrors, people. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it isn't. I can tell uh, you. Know, it's it it's a team of great hair and makeup. Well, you know, you just, I just make the most of what I have. You need to... Do I you guess diet? After so many, um, I don't diet, but I do watch what I eat. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I suppose I, I'm... You know, I, I wouldn't go in for desserts, really. I don't go in the sun much. I mean... You don't down ten pints every night, no? <laughs> no, yeah. maybe eight. You, goodness, yeah. you're well, you are Australian. Yeah. No, so I, I, I be good, you know, yeah. which can be boring sometimes. Yeah, but, but as you, you said, know. you're running around all the time, you're performing, doing videos. I mean, that's hard work, isn't it? You certainly burn the calories up doing all that kind yeah, of stuff. Um, now, another email, another text message coming in saying you've got so many different looks, you've had so many different looks throughout your career. Which ones are you particularly fond of? Because you do kind of revamp oh, your look, looks. don't you? Um, hmm. That's, <laughs> that's a lot to think about. Um, I think that fever period was yeah, a pretty good too. look. I was what? rocking the kind of cargo pants with yeah. heels. That was, that was a... And whatever happened to those gold lame hot pants? Do you remember the those? Yes, the gold <laughs> hot pants uh, now belong to the Performing Arts Museum in Melbourne. And when they're on display here as part of an exhibition at the v and I love saying that. <laughs> the v and I can't believe it. You had they were behind, the um, like they were in a kind of glass box 
to drag you back down to earth, uh, Catherine in Cheshire says, how do you feel about becoming an auntie? Ah, uh, I can't believe it's a matter of weeks. I really can't. I'm dead excited. I, I'm already an auntie twice yeah. to my brothers. Are you going to go back? Can you pop on a plane as soon as um, Danny I've gives I've orchestrated you the news? it so that I am in a, back in Australia in three weeks' time, which, which should be around the time there's yeah. a, a little baby Smith. Does she know what she's having it? Or is that a big secret? I know. Oh, yeah. Keep it to yourself. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. We won't ask you that. Kaza. Um, Kaza has one. Um, you're a Brit, you had, uh, it was a brilliant single. Um, do you still keep in contact with Jason Donovan? <laughs> we just spoke we about that just before. Her, um, the last time I saw Jace was at Priscilla Queen in the Desert show, which was fantastic. Yeah, he's yeah. brilliant on that. He it. comes in quite regularly, actually. Yeah. But yeah. are you, well, you have the old phone call these days that Eden are keep in touch? We, we don't, sadly. I mean, we just, I think, kind of... Go your separate ways. Both busy with our, yeah, with our lives. But it's always a pleasure to see him. And how do you look back on that period together uh, on, on screen? Happy days. Mm. Yeah, I mean, we were, we were just kids and we were working really hard. We have a similar kind of work ethic and, you know, and we dated for... A, that time, so oh, yes. yeah, I forgot you yes, went out. Not, not. I was, I was oh, entering like, uh, very out. delicately, actually. Yes, yeah, yeah. you are good. good. No. That's why he's been on for so many but years. But it was an on and off screen relationship, and I wouldn't say you, I mean, unfair to say you stole the show, but certainly you grabbed a lot of headlines together, didn't you, for all sorts of reasons? We did, yeah. Um, I mean, the show, considering its neighbour's 25th anniversary coming yeah. up, considering mm. the show was on one TV station, it was axed after about a year, and another TV channel picked it up it's um and that's when they brought in the young kids yes jason guy um and i came in about three months after that so and guy's done very well as well hasn't yeah, he big I mean, hollywood a, name a lot of people Amazing. Have, have really gone on to big things so okay let's have a couple more mark and lester says what's been your favorite ever tour is there one that pops uh, out uh d different ones for different reasons mm. i would say from the Fever Tour onwards is where I've really got my kind of my mojo going. Showgirls was amazing because you go on a stage with these huge headpieces. They must have been so heavy. Heavy, uncomfortable, yeah, really, really awkward. But you look fab. And on tour, it, it's a grueling process. It's mm. like, you know, we go out mm. on the road filming, etc., and doing mm. all these. It's, it's harder work than it looks, but I believe us, folks. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, do you ever get to the point where you say, oh, I just can't, I can't face this tonight. I really don't want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> So how do you overcome and that? And then you kind of get closer, you get closer, yeah. you psych yourself up. Um, you just, you, it, there's no stand-in, you've just got to go and do it. Hmm. Um, and then, you know, the crowd will always pick, pick me up. So. Great stuff. And when do you get to see a gorgeous boyfriend as well, Andres? Because he's uh, absolutely gorgeous, isn't he? I mean, you're tomorrow. so busy at the moment. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> so you're having a bit of a reunion, are you? Uh, I'm going to Madrid to... Um, take part in gay pride over there so uh -huh. he's coming over from Barcelona well yeah he's got the thumbs up from us we think he's gorgeous he is. Do you know that just about wraps it up yeah. doesn't it unfortunately the we have run out of time. time can I say thank you so much thank for, you for, being for here. Um, allowing me to you know come back any time do come come back various things, things here yeah. well morning. we think it's a first we don't think you've been live on the show before so it's a privilege for us too and thank you very much and certainly not for two right. hours and doing the weather and manning the gallery and just remind us the, the I'm about to sweep much. up now yes <laughs> <laughs> just remind us the album out Monday Aphrodite is out on Monday and your single's out now right yes it is all the lovers thank it's you. a great song as well the best of luck let us know thank how you get on as well great seeing you thanks so much uh, the time, 9 o'clock. Let's uh, catch up on the news with Helen.